Hey everybody, I'm Tim and this is Transformation Tuesday. I'm at the San Jose airport getting ready to leave for a couple of days for meetings and you know I was packing my bag to come here and, and to the airport and I was reminded of the reality that when you pack a bag to go on a trip you can't take everything you want to take. I know there are some of you, in fact you know who you are. You try to fit your whole closet in your bag every time you go somewhere. It's not fitting. Don't try it. You know, in this life, we fill our bags with lots of stuff that we don't need. In fact, 2020, one of the gifts of this year is that we're being reminded of what we actually need to be able to get through this life. You know, I was reading in Psalm 109, King David gives us a clue of one of the things that you and I need to put in our bag to help us get through the journey of this life. In Psalm 109, David is lamenting uh, all of his enemies. He's lamenting all of the, the craziness happening around him. He's, he's lamenting the fact that even his friends are treating him like enemies. But he says this in verse 4, but I am a man of prayer. And right there, King David gives us one of the keys to understanding the things that we need to put in our bag for this life, and it's prayer. Prayer connects us to the, the power of God. It connects us to the presence of God. It connects us to the, to the provision of God. Prayer is so vitally important in the life of a Jesus follower. So much so that Jesus modeled this, right? All throughout the life of Jesus, we see him getting away to pray. And in fact, on the last free night of his life, what was he doing? He was in the garden praying. Jesus knew and David knew that prayer is a vital part of us being able to accomplish and being able to get through all of what comes to us in this life. And so friends, I want to challenge you today on this Transformation Tuesday. Can you say in your life, I am a man of prayer? I am a woman of prayer. Hey, if you can, we want to help you take your next step in learning how to become a man or woman of prayer. And so here's what I wanted you to do. I want you to text the word PRAY to 831-288-3053. And we'll respond and give you lots of resources to help you take the next step to becoming a man or a woman of prayer. So that when you get to a place in life like the year 2020, and you need the things of God, you're able to reach into your bag and grab what you need. Why? Because you are a man or woman of prayer and all that you have is in your bag that you need for this life. All right, friends, have a great week. Can't wait to see you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.